times in the last few weeks, people have reported bees dying in Portland. We've learned the Oregon Department of Agriculture is now investigating whether a recently banned chemical is to blame or if it's just a natural process. Well, as of today, it's a week. Blythe Dolores Utz was downtown walking through Pettigrove Park. And saw just dead bee bodies. She saw over a hundred and more each day. And after that, I uh, started seeing living but dying bees kind of wandering around. She called the group that works with bees, the Xerxes Society, who told state authorities, who got help over the weekend from this man. I care about all life. Bob Bernstein heard about the bee die off and wanted to make sure there was enough evidence. Sunday night at 2 a.m. in the morning, gathered up some bees. Bob remembers sadly the massive bee die off two years ago in Wilsonville. The Department of Agriculture concluded the 50,000 bees were killed by an insecticide, which a landscaping company sprayed improperly to kill aphids on the linden trees in a parking lot. And now the bees in Pettigrove Park are also from linden trees, and the state is looking at whether a similar insecticide is to blame. But that chemical called neonicotinoid was banned this spring, both by the city of Portland and the state. It's possible someone used it before it was banned, or it's possible the bees are dying of natural causes. Again, go back two years, right after Wilsonville, there was another die-off in Hillsboro at a linden tree. It turns out linden secrete a sugar toxic to bees and may have been to blame. Perhaps that's what's happening now. It's really sad. In Pettigrove Park. Now, as we said, the, the Oregon Department of Agriculture, they're investigating, they're testing the bees, and we'll let you know when they get results. They said maybe sometime this week. Okay, so you'll follow up for us. Yes, we will. Okay.